Okay, this, in this video, all I'm gonna do is just maybe go into the tire and the treads, okay? So I'm gonna see what, what method I could use to, to make it kind of work for you guys, okay? So it's sticking out of here, I'm not worried about that. So let's see, what can I do to make this seem like threads? So one of the first thing most people are gonna do is this. They're gonna grab this here, the loop, right? As, as a first choice, you may just do this, okay? You might use the third extrude here and just pull, okay? All right, so there's that option, which is kind of cool. That works. But look down here, there's something very interesting down here. Uh, extrude, extrude, flip, dissolve, where is it? Offset, even, no. Okay, so there's that option. Mirror editing, proportional editing. It was, I wanted it to be individual, right? I think this is, let me just see what happens. This is one method I think people can use, right? Okay, so I'll just say, I'll leave it at that. Okay, I'm gonna undo that, okay? Another method is, you can come in here and maybe taper this a bit, right? You can taper it without doing an extrude first. So you can say value, and I think I'm gonna do something like this here, watch. Go option, left click, we got that loop. And then uh, we'll go option, left click here. So I've got both these loops. But the problem is gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna bevel it, right? Okay, but remember this scale, right? Remember, always clear your transforms. So, Command A, I think it's, isn't that Command A? I'm just losing my mind with all the different apps I'm using in a day. Location, uh, we're gonna change the scale, watch this. Command A, change it to scale like that. Okay, now you tap in here, you have both of these selected, and you can go and, and bevel. A lot of people will do that. This is sweet looking, look. That looks pretty cool, right? All right, that's, okay, now with that, I think, Mark seems, I can go like that. There's some really good stuff here, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's nice, okay? So if I come in here now and take my time, <laughs> this is painful, folks, watch this. Um, I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna hold shift, I'm gonna left click here, left click, you can do this too. You can come in here, only the ones that are exposed, right? Shift, left click, shift, left click like that. Okay, do we have one more here somewhere like that? Boom. I think so. Yeah, and one in here. I'm hoping that that actually worked. Yeah, look, it's are all selected, right? So this is sweet. So I'm going to do something that's a little more advanced, but you know what? Bear with me, watch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, we're going to bevel in here. Watch. See, like that. Okay? And I'm just going to add a cup. I could do that, right? So now if I come back, and this is kind of simple, come back, grab this face, Two, shift, left, click, shift, left, click, right? Shift, left, click. This is, you know, there's so many methods out there to do this, but I'm trying to give you something simple. Shift, left, click, shift, left, click, good enough. And now I will go to extrude and watch this. See, like that. Okay, sweet. So when you look at it in profile, this looks pretty sweet to me, okay? All right, and now I can come in here and just bevel it, just a touch. This is, now we're getting into the detail mode, okay? So this looks like a tire tread, right? Okay, feel free to use this method, it's up to you. Tab up, okay, how long was that? The other thing I did, just as a review here, so let's say, I'm, I'm, again, I said keep things simple, right? So I'm gonna use um, the inset tool here, watch, tab. Before I do anything, I'm gonna tab out, I'm gonna remind myself, is the scale correct? Nope. So immediately I'm gonna select both of these, plus Command A and press scale, boom, they're ones. Okay, tab. Go to face mode, boom, and just stay in the move, and I'm just gonna press I. Watch this, press I, does this really cool inset, like that. And now I can go uh, bevel, right, bevel, and go inwards or outwards, it's up to you. You can do this, see, that's sweet. And now we can take that outside edge and just bevel it a touch. Okay, and if you want more detailed in here, come back, same thing, select that face, and press I for inset and just do this. And then E for, does E work? Yeah, E for extrude, see? You can do stuff like that. So you got that wall -E effect, okay? It's up to you. Um, and then I can just grab, this is super later, guys, so don't do this right away on day one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, uh, option left click, and I'm just gonna bevel this. So these are things you do later, it's called hard surface modeling. So we're adding things that we didn't do in other projects. We're adding more information. I think this is pretty good. I don't have to add any more than that. Okay, 
I can grab this edge and add a bevel to it too, just slightly. Okay, like that. I don't even have to add that. So now I'll press tab. I'll say bye bye to this one, X, go into MIX view, and I'm gonna duplicate it, move it to the right, okay? Shift D, Y, and move it and line it up somewhere over here. I think something like that for now, okay? So this is a short, in just short demo, five, just under six minutes adding detail. I'll do other ones for the forearm next, okay? I wanna keep these. So don't do this in the beginning. Wait till you have everything modeled and then do what I just showed you, okay? Please, all right? Tire treads and eyes for this one. Thank you very much, Valiant out. So this was under